Many call camp a second home and often use the word magic to describe what it feels like to be part of the camp community. Those of us who have dedicated our careers to working at summer camps know that no one actually has a magic wand. The transformations that happen at camp are the direct result of the research-based intentional strategies we've implemented to create this positive environment for nurturing optimal growth. Hello and welcome to the Sunshine Parenting Podcast, where each week we talk about ideas for raising kids who become thriving adults. I'm your host, Audrey Monkey. Here on the podcast, I share my experiences raising five kids who currently range in age from 16 to 26 and working with thousands more as a summer camp director over the past three decades. I'm the author of Happy Campers, and I frequently do workshops with parents, teachers, and summer camp professionals about social skills, connection, and happiness, topics I researched extensively for my master's in psychology. If you want tools for raising kind, optimistic, self-reliant kids who become thriving adults, you've come to the right place. Hey, Sunshine Parenting listeners, and welcome to episode 174, which is first being released on Friday, June 4th, 2021. Before we get to this week's episode, I'd like to give a shout out to my parents, Bonnie and Peter, who are today celebrating their 59th wedding anniversary. I have always been grateful for them, and I am especially grateful for them as we plan my oldest daughter's marriage this fall. I'll share a picture of my parents on my social media today if you want to see how cute they were 59 years ago and how cute they still are today. This week on the podcast, I'm thrilled to share with you a short excerpt from my book, Happy Campers, which was recently released as an audiobook two years after the print version was published. This has been such a tough past year for parents, and I hope you'll be encouraged to try some of the simple practices I share in Happy Campers to bring some of the fun and connection of summer camp home. Whether you try one of my sticky note solutions, a one simple thing intervention, or an around the campfire family discussion, I hope something you learn from Happy Campers makes a positive impact on your family's culture. I don't typically dedicate episodes, but I can't help myself with this one. I dedicate this episode, The Magic of Camp, to all the summer camp professionals out there putting the final touches on staff training and revising COVID protocols for the 795th time. During non-pandemic times, our profession is not for the faint of heart or for people who seek the kind of job status and financial success the world most values. Most people don't understand the depth of the social-emotional training and work camp professionals do with our staff and campers, nor the lifelong positive impact our work has on the lives of our community members. Camp professionals, I see you and I applaud you as you start this summer season. The work you do is so needed right now. Thank you for providing a place where kids and young adult staff can get off their screens, get outside, connect with each other, and have fun together. Your work is more important this year than it has ever been before. Most people don't know the many weeks of planning and work you've done getting ready for this summer, but I know how hard you've worked to get kids to camp this summer because my team at Gold Arrow Camp has been working unbelievably hard. Know that what you do is so valuable. Thank you for creating the magic that campers will experience at your camps this summer. The Magic of Summer Camp Dear Sunshine, I don't know the child who was returned to me on Saturday. It definitely wasn't the child I dropped off two weeks earlier. The only logical explanation is that your camp is magic. 
Magic transformed my scared, sad boy into a confident, smiling, laughing young man. My son had a hard year in school. He was stressed, worried, and anxious. He came out of his two weeks loving the mountains, loving activities he never would have tried in a million years, and most importantly, believing in himself. He has never been a kid who, in almost nine years of life, has ever believed in himself despite everything we've tried. And you changed that. Magic. With gratitude, Lindsay. Parents often share the positive changes and increased maturity they notice in their children when they arrive home from camp. Years later, those who were regular campers and their families continue to testify about the lifelong positive impact camp had on their children's social skills, character development, and emotional well-being. Kids often meet their best friends at camp, gain newfound confidence in their own abilities, discover lifelong recreational passions, and even pursue careers based on interests and strengths developed at camp. Campers describe experiencing their first feelings of belonging and acceptance and of discovering their true selves while at summer camp. I've had the privilege of watching two generations of campers return as camp counselors and even as camp parents. Our loyal longtime campers consider their time at camp the most important and pivotal part of their childhood. Many call camp a second home and often use the word magic to describe what it feels like to be part of the camp community. Those of us who have dedicated our careers to working at summer camps know that no one actually has a magic wand. The transformations that happen at camp are the direct result of the research-based intentional strategies we've implemented to create this positive environment for nurturing optimal growth. Of course, it's super fun for children to live in a tent, enjoy the beautiful outdoors, learn adventurous recreational skills, and gather around a nightly campfire roasting marshmallows. But there are important principles behind the work we do. While teaching a child to water ski or rock climb, we know they're gaining far more important skills, like the courage to try something new and the perseverance to do it over and over, despite failure. As parents, we can look at the skills we teach our children in the same way. When we have our child help with a regular daily household chore like washing dishes, they are learning more than just kitchen hygiene. They're gaining a sense of responsibility, a work ethic, and an understanding of how each family member contributes to running the household. When we think about our parenting choices, it's important to remember that our end goal is helping our kids develop life-changing skills and character traits that will help them thrive as adults. With this framework, it's clear that washing dishes is not just about having a clean kitchen. Young people require much more than intellectual growth and physical health to become happy, successful adults. And yet much of our time as parents is focused on their academic, athletic, and other endeavors. This is why summer camps work so well to produce profound changes in such a short time. The camp environment fosters connection and is one of the only places where the culture is focused primarily on kids' social and emotional development. Just like children practice important social skills at summer camp, at home, kids can gain those same important relationship skills. When we sit around the family dinner table sharing our ideas and dreams or talking about our highs and lows from the day, Our children are developing important social skills like better listening, learning to ask questions, offering compliments, and sharing appropriately. Regular opportunities to practice engaging translate into our children being better able to navigate social interactions at school and in other settings. The close connections children feel to parents and siblings have a profound and positive impact on the way they successfully navigate relationships outside the family. Knowing that social skills, positive relationships, and character traits like kindness, grit, and optimism are so closely linked to our children's present and future happiness and well-being, in Happy Campers, I share the tools I've developed at camp 
to foster these and other important traits so that you can provide the same guidance to your kids at home. Camp experiences, I have determined, can be accurately viewed as a positive psychological intervention for children, contributing both to their social skills development and their overall wellness. In this book, I'll show you how to create that intervention in your own home, where the benefits last not just two weeks, but a lifetime. Magic. Thanks for listening to this excerpt from Happy Campers. If you'd like to listen to the rest of the book and get simple research-based strategies for creating more fun and connection at home, you can download your copy at Amazon, Audible, or Apple Books. I'm including a link in this episode's show notes. As always, you can find other resources related to today's conversation by visiting my website at sunshine-parenting.com. And to those of you who've already read Happy Campers and taken the time to write a review on Amazon, thank you. I read each review and they serve as an encouragement to me to continue doing this work. Here's a five-star review from Dean C with the headline, this is the parenting book I needed on day one. Dean says, if you could synthesize all of the best parenting advice into one book, I think you'd get Happy Campers. I loved this parenting book. It is easy to read and reread, especially in short bursts. Every time I pick it up, I get a gem of wisdom. My kids are older, so I wish I'd had this book when we were starting out on our parenting journey. Nevertheless, there are so many great ideas for parenting teens. Audrey's strategies have helped me to connect more deeply and more often with my kids. This book offers a parenting action plan that gets to the heart of what we want as parents to raise thriving, confident, happy adults. This is the book I'm gifting to all the new parents I know. Thank you so much, Dean, for that review. I really appreciate it. And thank you to the rest of you who've also left your reviews of Happy Campers. Thank you for listening. And thank you for joining me in raising a generation of thriving kids. Have an amazing summer full of connection, fun, and growth. I'm Audrey Monkey. Thank you for joining me for the Sunshine Parenting Podcast. Join me again for more conversations about raising kids who become thriving adults. Mm -hmm.